Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. Now, if you're just coming across our channel, this is Jackba with the Days, and on this channel, we provide informative relocation opportunity that will not make you to break the bank or that will not make you to spend any money whatsoever to be able to achieve your Jackba plan. And today, I want to discuss an exciting relocation opportunity, particularly to single guys and ladies out there. Now, if you are a career professional that are looking for an opportunity to be able to enhance your skills, you know, to intend with an organization, a multinational organizations to help build your career to a part where you will be able to call yourself an expert in your field or you are a fresh graduate and you are looking for an opportunity to be able to develop your career in a particular choosing career field okay or you have gotten to a stage in your career that you feel that you need a career change to a better career post prospect so i've got an exciting opportunity for you today i'm talking about the meti government of japan internship program for all nationals yes this meti government fully funded program to japan it covers your accommodations it covers your flight fee your visa fee and a monthly stipend is provided to everyone now this internship program will is aimed at helping you to be able to develop by matching you to a multinational organizations depending on your choosing areas of career or your choosing areas of profession they match you with a multinational organizations in in in, in japan so which means if you are in the it space you're looking to develop in the it areas they match you with uh, and a multinational organizations in the IT space in Japan, you are in a manufacturing space, or you are looking for a sort of career change to be able to determine or to be able to build your career in different uh, professions, they will match you with any choosing manufacturing organizations that will help you to be able to develop and continually enhance your professions. Okay, so and like I said, this is a fully funded opportunity to Japan. And we all know that Japan is home to many multinational organizations that are very inno innovative. In fact, they are home to, uh, I mean, if you've heard of cars like Toyota, cars like Nissan, cars like Honda, and many IT related jobs. I, I mean, are being uh, produced in Japan. So which means it is an opportunity for you as a single guys or ladies out there all over the world to apply for, to be able to enhance your skill. Now the beauty, one of the good things that I love about this internship program is that it promises a, 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 a permanent job opportunity even before your internship program expire so which means as you are developing as you are learning or as you are interning with this organization that you'll be matched with this organization can provide to you a permanent job opportunity to remain permanently with them in japan and continually grow in your choosing profession so the possibility of seeing a job after internship is enormous so, because this internship program is designed to be able to enhance collaborations with students that are just fresh, that have just freshly graduated from universities or career professionals that are looking for opportunity to be able to enhance their careers or build their professions with experts that are in that field. So, that is what this METI Government of Japan internship program promised to all applicant okay so today i will be showing to you quickly the details about this um uh, internship program this fully funded internship program and how you can make your application mind you you have to apply to this internship program before 30th of this month which means application deadline is 30th of june 
so you have about two to three weeks to be able to apply and from what i've seen you even if whether you are a graduate a university graduate or you are not a university graduate it doesn't require any degree whatsoever to be able to apply for this internship program so you have every opportunity you have every right to be able to submit your application and given the fact that once you are selected for this they promise to help you to process visa to japan so that's why i said as a single guy or a single uh, ladies out there you have no opportunity not to explore this travel opportunity on internship on a fully funded internship program to japan so stick to this video and of course like and subscribe to this channel if this is the kind of opportunity that you are looking for like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notification so come with me let me quickly show you the details about this fully funded meti government internship program to japan so as i earlier said these are the benefits of this METI government internship program to Japan, pre-training for interns, training with cover explanations of the business overview, the process of participating in the internship, precautions and key points regarding the internship, as well as informations about work eligibility in Japan assisting you to obtain a visa to enter Japan, arrangement of round trip airline ticket. So which means both going and coming back to your home country, flight ticket will be provided. Arrangement of accommodation will also be provided to all applicants. Provision of necessary personal computer for the internship. So which means personal computers will also be made available. Now, for in-person internship provided by the host company, so the host company have the opportunity to provide all applicants their personal computer, which will aid your internship responsibilities and job descriptions in the matched organizations in Japan. Now, for online internship generally provided by the program office upon separate consultation, activity support based on the intensive duration. So in-person intensive, so that means the physical intensive for those who will be, uh, who, who want to go to Japan physically, you have the opportunity to earn 3,000 yen per day in Japan, while online intensive, the equivalent of 1,000 yen per day in local currency will be provided to all applicants and also internship insurance will also be provided so that is this that is the benefit of this that is the benefit of this um, um meti government of gap of japan internship program so now like i said this program is open to all nationality Let's quickly check all the nationality. So now, because it is aimed towards some certain um, least developed countries, low income countries, low middle income countries, and upper middle income countries. And these are the countries that are considered under each of the criteria for the selections, okay? Now for least developed countries, these are the country, we have Guinea, Gambia, Ethiopia, under low income countries, these are the uh, we have Democratic Republic of Korea, Syria, Arab Republic. Under low middle income countries, we have Algeria, Nigeria, Morocco, uh, Nicaragua, Ukraine, you know, etc. And under upper middle income countries and territory, which are not LDC, we have Albania, Argentina, and the like. So you can check the uh, the, 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 the country eligibility to determine whether your country is among those that can apply for this. But basically, it, it, I think it's cover almost all the countries that are listed under each of these criteria, okay? Now, let's quickly check the eligibility. Foreign professional, this METI internship program is designed specifically for foreign professional with advanced skills who are nationals of developing countries. And of course, these are the countries that we've, you know, we've, uh, we've talked about 
shortly and you can click on this link to review each of the country to see whether your country is among the listed countries that can apply for this now as a general guide as a general guideline one person per company so which means you will be as each individual that is selected for this will be matched to one company so you have an opportunity to be matched with one company and the matching you with an organization will depend on your areas of interest or your areas of professions or, or, or areas in which you are looking or seeking development to enhance your career on. And this will be determined via the face-to-face -face online interview. And like I said earlier, the application deadline is Sunday, 30th of June. Now, this internship program is divided into two opportunities. And like they said, applicants are welcome to apply for both internship option. Now, we have in-person internship option, our in-person internship option in Japan, which means physically you can attend this internship opportunity in Japan. Or if you feel that uh, because of your schedule or because of your work, you will not be able to um, uh, meet this in-person or go to Japan for this internship, you can apply for the online internship. Now, the in-person internship will take place at a small to medium-sized companies with main business location in Japan, while the online internship will be conducted remotely within the intense own workspace under the directions and management of the host company activity. So regardless whether you are working in person in, person in Japan or you are working online within your own space or own workspace, you will still be assigned with an organization that will help you to be able to develop your career goals either in person or online. Now, this is the application requirement. The applicant must agree with the purpose of this project and be able to cooperate with the promotion of globalizations of Japanese companies, the expansions of overseas business of companies, and the building networks with overseas universities, universities through internship holding citizenship of applicable countries or region, which we've talked uh, about earlier. Now, proficiency in Japanese language or proficiency in English. So which means you have proficiency in Japanese language or you have proficiency in English. That this is the, this is the language requirement. So you, you can either speak proficiently in Japanese or you can speak proficiently in English. Now in principle, this is the age requirement. You must be between the age of 18 to 40 years old as at August 1st, 2024, before you can apply. So which means if you are within the age of 18 to 40 years old, you can apply for this internship opportunity. Student must be able to submit a certificate of enrollment from their university or other institution and a letter of recommendation from their university or university faculty. So which means if you are a student, a current active student in any university, and you are looking for this opportunity, you must get a certificate of enrollment. You must submit, it, you must submit a certificate of enrollment from your universities or any other institution with a letter of re recommendation from your university faculty um, uh, head, which means your um, um, uh, uh, HOD, head of department, to state that uh, they are granting you an opportunity as a student to be able to attend this internship program because one way or the other, it has a correlation with the course of study that you are studying in your university. Now, graduates must be able to submit certificate of graduation from their previous university. So if you are already a graduate, you must submit a uh, certificate of um, or a, a certificate from your uh, pre previous school and a letter of recommendation from their university faculty or institution. So if you are if you are HND applicant or, uh, or BSc applicant, just get a letter of recommendation from any university faculty lecturer in your institution. Also, those who can submit certificate of various qualification to show your proof of language proficiency. These are the language proficiency that they recognize. IELTS, TOEFL, uh, TOE, ISC, CEF, you know, JLPT, ETC. So which means, you know, once they put ETC, that means if you have any other proof to show that uh, you understand English or Japanese proficiently, you can, you know, use any of this medium 
to show the proof. So, and then those who can dedicate themselves exclusively to the training and internship at the program and who can participate in the internship according to the timetable specified by the program office. So those are the kind of people that they are looking for. The applicants must, must meet other specific conditions required by each company that they assign you to. Those who, who have not participated in the program between the year 2016 and 2023 are the people that they are looking for. And of course, we've talked about the, the, um, uh, the support and the uh, benefits of this program. And then of course, expectations and responsibility of each applicant develop an internship plan, internship role, goal. It is a true discussion with the internship manager participate in pre-training, follow-up training, and a wrap-up presentation, ensure personal safety and health management by taking responsibility for tasks such as regularly contacting, reporting to, and consulting with the program office and development, submit various document notification reports. It is a before, during, and after the internship, participate in Japanese language classes whenever possible and if offered a permanent position at the internship host company exhibit appropriate behavior as a participant in a project funded by public funds from the japanese government so now when you when you if all of this if you meet each of these criteria you can click on this link to apply we will, we will quickly check it soon let's quickly look at the procedure for selections and matching with organizations for this fully funded internship program in Japan. The first phase is the recruitment and information session. Internship interns who are nationals of this OECD or DAC listed countries, which, which we've talked about before, please note that it is not necessary to attend the information session before you can apply. Then the, the, phase, the next phase is submit your application. Based on the application, the intense aptitude or experience or ability as an intern, understanding of the project aim, wishes regarding the company and the internship details check these are the things that they look out for in the uh, application submissions and the inter interview stage now selection and matching with organizations screening is conducted through document screening meetings with the program office and with companies screening process will be conducted based on information contained in your application and your experience or your ability as an intern, understanding of the program purpose and any other condition that is deemed necessary by the host organization. Now, various certification documents regarding university education or language skills are essential. Also, letter of recommendation is also very important. Your photograph is important. Required documents, ETC, are also required to submit individually during your application submission. JIP office, which is the Japan Internship Program Office, will match interns with companies according to, according to the application, along with their expectations and preferences. The result of the matching process will be notified to the company and the intern applicant, and match will be made upon mutual agreement. So, which means after matching with the organization, the organization accepts your application, you also accept the organization, both of you will sign some sort of a memorandum of understanding to show that you guys are ready to work together. Notification of result, notification of acceptance decision is sent to the interns and the company. Conclusion of the contract, the program office and the company office and the interns conclude an agreement setting out the rules and obligations regarding the acceptance of the interns and the implementations of the interns, okay? Now, these are all the essential information, like I said, once you are ready to make your application, you can click on this link here and it will take you to this stage where you'll be able to click on, um, uh, where you'll be able to click on, um, uh, what is it called, to apply. Now, of course, we've, we've talked about the language requirement, which is in English, either you are proficient in English or you are proficient in Japanese. And the application deadline, we've talked about it. And this is the position that they are particularly looking forward to most of the organization they are looking for business experts and they are also looking for engineers those who have the acumen to become a business expert or an engineer in different areas so there's no particular areas of engineer that they are looking for or there there's no also particular areas of business experts that they are looking for now once you are 
if you are interested, you can you know uh, apply for information session where you'll be able to gather more information regarding this uh, internship program and uh, check the program web page. Of course, you can also read details about you know some of the other information that are here. Now, face-to-face -face offline internship will be for six weeks, while online internship will be for 80 hours, about four weeks. So for face-to-face -face internship in Japan, it is about six weeks, while um, uh, 80 hours online internship will be for four weeks. And like they said, an individual can apply to both online or offline internship opportunities. So depending on which one, you are selected for that is what we determine which one you will participate in an internship period will be adjusted depending on the organization so like i said you can read further details about each of these um application here now when you are ready to submit your application it's very it is a very very simple step you just click on apply now but if you have already created an account you will just be able to sign it but if you have not created an account you, will all, you only need to apply with your email and create a password to be able to sign up for yourself. But if you have already created an account, all you just have to do is to log in in here. So you see, it is a very simple uh, um, application process where you just put your email and you know create a password for yourself, agree to the terms and conditions, and you sign up. Then you can put all the necessary, answer all the necessary questions, all the, uh, uh, attach all the necessary document that is required. And I mean, they said it's a very, very simple procedure to be able to apply. So, which means it is a fully funded, you have nothing whatsoever to lose as a single guy or as a single um, uh, man. Of course, if you are married and your spouse agree that uh, you can go ahead to seek opportunities out there, there is nothing stopping you. So, you can go ahead, put all your passions and everything. Now, when you are working as an intern, what they are actually seeking for is your motivations your ability to be able to give everything to the task because they are watching you every day you are being assessed. So it is from all of these that they will be able to determine whether you can be offered a full, I mean, a full employment opportunity. So you have nothing whatsoever to lose. You only spend about 20 to 30 or 15 minutes on your application. Then you can hope that when you are selected for a screening or interview, if you are given, so I mean, you have nothing to lose whatsoever to apply for this opportunity. Of course, if you have any question whatsoever, I'm going to try as much as possible to help those on my Telegram page to as much as possible apply to this fully funded internship program in Japan. I mean, Japan is a very great country, is a developed country that you, I mean, the opportunities there are enormous. I mean, you cannot, you cannot miss it if you travel as an intern to any of the organizations that they will match you with. So, yes, if you have any questions, comments, whatsoever, drop them on our comment section. We'll try as much as possible to answer them and, you know, as much as we can assist you with your application. Don't forget to also like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. So we come your way next time. Bye-bye for now.